हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल के एस एस गुरुकुल टूडे इन पार्ट वन ऑफ दिस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट फ्रैक्शंस अंडर चैप्टर फ्रैक्शंस एंड डेसिमल्स ऑफ क्लास सेवन मैथ बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैव नॉट येट सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट न्यू वीडियो अपडेट्स अंडर फ्रैक्शंस द फर्स्ट पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन इज मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ फ्रैक्शंस अंडर दिस हैडिंग फर्स्ट वी विल नो मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ ए फ्रैक्शन बाय ए होल नंबर लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड इट पिक्चरियली थ्रू एन एग्जांपल सपोज वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई फ्रैक्शन 1 बाय 4 बाय ए होल नंबर 2 दैट इज 1 बाय 4 इनटू 2 which is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. Here is an image of a circle and it has been divided into 4 equal parts. Thus, one part out of 4 parts constitutes 1 by 4. Now, we will take another similar circle and so 1 by 4 on it in the same way. Thus, by totaling, there will be total two parts out of four parts and will be shown pictorially like this thus 1 by 4 into 2 equal to 2 by 4 and we can also write it as 1 into 2 by 4 so now we can say to multiply a fraction with a whole number we just have to multiply the whole number with the numerator of the fraction and denominator remains as it is For example, two by seven into three equal to two into three by seven equal to six by seven. If the fraction to be multiplied is a mixed fraction, first we have to convert it to improper fraction. For example, three and two by five into eight equal to seventeen by five into eight. Equal to seventeen into eight by five, that is equal to one thirty six by five, equal to twenty seven and one by five. Multiplication of a fraction by a fraction. Multiplication of a fraction by a fraction is very simple. Just multiply the numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator. For example, two by seven of three by five. Note that of represents multiplication. Thus, two by seven of three by five equal to two by seven into three by five. That is equal to two into three by seven into five. Equal to six by thirty-five. Likewise, one by two of two and three by four equal to one by two into two and three by four. That is equal to one by two into eleven by four. Equal to one into eleven by two into four. Equal to eleven by eight. We know the product of two whole numbers is always larger than each of the two whole numbers thus multiplied. Now, what about the product of two fractions? Let's know. The product of two proper fractions is always smaller than each of the two fractions thus multiplied. For example, one by two into two by three equal to two by six. Equal to one by three. Now, one by three is less than one by two, and also less than two by three. And the product of two improper fractions is always larger than each of the two fractions thus multiplied. For example, three by two into five by three. Equal to fifteen by six. Equal to five by two. Now, five by two is greater than three by two, and also greater than five by three. Next point of discussion is division of fractions. 
first come to division of a whole number by a fraction. For any whole number a and fraction p by q, a divided by p by q equal to a into q by p. In other words, a whole number divided by a fraction is equal to the same whole number multiplied by the reciprocal of the given fraction. For your information, when the product of two numbers except 0 becomes 1, we say these two numbers are reciprocal to each other. For example, 3 and 1 by 3, 1 by 7 and 7, 29 and 1 by 29, etc. Thus, we can get the reciprocal of a number by simply inverting it. That is, making the denominator as numerator and numerator as denominator. Now, let's take an example of division of a whole number by a fraction. 7 divided by 2 by 5 equal to 7 into 5 by 2. As here, 5 by 2 is the reciprocal of 2 by 5 equal to 35 by 2 equal to 17 and 1 by 2. However, if the fraction to be multiplied is a mixed fraction, first we have to convert it to an improper fraction. For example, 4 divided by 2 and 2 by 5 equal to 4 divided by 12 by 5 equal to 4 into 5 by 12 equal to 20 by 12 equal to 5 by 3. Division of a fraction by a whole number. Let the given fraction is a by b and the whole number is n. Now, a by b divided by n equal to a by b divided by n by 1 equal to a by b into 1 by n equal to a by b n or a by b into n. Thus, we can say in division of a fraction by a whole number, we just have to multiply the whole number to the denominator. Division of a fraction by another fraction. Dividing a fraction with another fraction is the same as multiplying the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second. Thus, we can say for any two given fractions a by b and p by q, a by b divided by p by q equal to a by b into q by p. For example, 1 by 2 divided by 3 by 5 equal to 1 by 2 into 5 by 3 equal to 5 by 6. This was all about this chapter. Thank you for watching. To get more updates about this subject, please subscribe our channel KSS Gurukul.